I want to open the passies now. This one feels like it might be in a clear case, so I don't want to do a reveal yet. So I'll do this one. This one is from Little for Big, and I believe they are a um, ABDL shop. So if you don't want to support those shops, or if they have an 18 plus, I'll put it on the screen. But um, just to let you know, this is from a shop that's not specifically Adri. But they do make good passies, so I bought this one. I think one of my first adult size passies was from this brand. Um, and I have like four from them. But this is my first time trying this shape. It's so cute, look. I have wanted this one for so long, but this is what it looks like. And is the T, I think it's, I think this is a little smaller than the others. Yeah, it's smaller than, a little bit smaller than the other one and a little bit shorter. Like this T is also from Little For Big, but this Patsy is so cute. Let me go real quick. I can tell this is already gonna be my new obsession. I forgot exactly what the shape is called. Oh, Generation 2. Big shield, pacifier, and pink. And I love when the handle is like a little bit loose, so it makes this noise when you move. Next is this one. Let's see if it's, if it's clear, I'll let you get the first look. Oh. The view is obstructed. This one I'm also I've also been excited for, um, but I was reading the reviews and it was like the, and I'm seeing now it was like the, like teat is ginormous and like almost uncomfortable, and some people really hated it, but I still wanted to try it because like this style of passy is like, I can have these ones which are like the baby ones. They're like really small, so you can only like hold them with your teeth. So I wanted to try like a bigger one. Um, but I use these ones specifically when I'm in like a really small like baby space. But I'm gonna try this one out and see if I like it. It looks, it's, it is huge. Look, it's home. start with the socks. I also like most of the time when I okay when I have bought from Shein like in the past it's been like stuff like socks um earrings and accessories and stuff it's this one is really cute one is given Barbie and I still still don't know what this is but they're all really cute so obviously these are for like when I'm regressed and when I'm not regressed like I think they'll be so cute with these shoes and they are really stretchy next is this and these are I think these are fox supposed to be like fox or red panda ears but I got them because they look kind of like kitty or puppy ears. Recently I've been like exploring my pet space more which is also SFW if you didn't know. Um, for me specifically my pet space is SFW and my regression space is SFW. I wanted to like buy some ears and they have like really nice ones on Amazon and like Etsy that you can buy um, that are definitely like more realistic and they're like clip-ons. They're so soft. Okay. This is what they look like. They're smaller than I expected. I think they looked a little bigger in the picture. Let's take them on. It's kind of cute. I like it. 
I like the size. Um, I also like, I wouldn't mind them being bigger. Cause I think like, it would, it's so, like, I like having like comically big ears. Um, but these are really cute actually. And you can't even see like the hairband, probably also because it had black hair and it's black. But it is metal. Um, it's metal and it has these little soft things on it so it doesn't poke you that much. But it does like kind of sit like right on my ear. Um, so that might be a little uncomfortable but I think I can like put them like a little further back to help with that. But yeah these are so cute and they're like, like I said they're really soft. We got more socks. Honey color. And I love this like cream color sock. Um, one of my favorite things is like matching the color of my socks with the color of my crops. <laughs> but um, these ones are so cute. They're like cartoony, kind of giving like Care Bears. And then these ones, cherries. This is like a pinkish purple kind of pastel color. Um, and then this one, it says, also don't know what that says. But anyways, they're really cute. Okay, so let's go into the clothes now. And this is a bodysuit. I don't even know how well you can hear me over me like uh, crinkling that plastic, but hopefully you can hear. But this is a bodysuit and immediately it is like really like thin and see-through. This is what it looks like and it has buttons down the front and it is shorts at the bottom. I got this in a size 4X. This is, they you have know, these overalls and the bottom is like, kind of like bloomers style. They're so cute and it's Care Bears. They have like different colors too. It's like really thin. It's not like as soft. It's like definitely a little more of like a linen kind of fabric. The thigh part kind of stretches, which is nice. And it has a zipper down the side to make it easier to get into. The pockets are functional. This isn't really a pocket, but I got this in a 3X. And this is one of the items that are from Romwe, but was on Shein's like app. This is this. You see dinosaurs. I see dinosaurs. So excited. It's an overalls dress. And it has this dinosaur pattern, which is so cute. And the size is 3X. Next, I think this is like the same silhouette, but a different pattern. The fabric is different, a little different. It's a dress. And it has these little flower prints. Um, it's so cute. And I think they, they kind of like remind me of like paw prints. So I was thinking like, this is definitely something I'll probably wear like when I'm in my pet regression space. I think this is a dress also maybe. Let's see. But it's also Care Bears. And it's from Romwe. And it has this adorable Care Bears rainbow pattern. The color is so cute. It's pretty close to what the color actually is. Um, so cute. It's adjustable. Size is 3x, but the next one is this sheet. But I only get like fitted sheets because, like, I don't even use flat sheets when I buy like a full set. So I just like, I was just like, why don't I just buy like the fitted sheet that I'm actually gonna use? So that's what I have. And this one has bears on it, it definitely smells bad. So you're gonna have to wash it. Like, it doesn't smell dirty, it just smells like chemicals dive I don't know what that is but this is what it looks like super cute and I chose this pattern because it reminds me of like a nursery like um a crib or like bassinet kind of sheet so I was like this will be really cute on my bed like especially when I'm small the bear is like a different a little bit of a different texture than the actual sheet this part is much softer and the nose part is softer I think this is the item that I bought two of on accident but I hate returning stuff. I hate it so much. Hate it. This is the design. <laughs> it's so freaking cute. It's like a little grumpy puppy. 
and the whole thing is brown. Um, but I was worried that like this was gonna be like too thin because like on the model it was like really loose and oversized. I was worried that they would come like too tight, but they're definitely look like they're gonna fit exactly how I want them to. The ears and the little eyebrows are like um, stuffed. And this is in a 4X. Next is this, and this is a glow-in-the-dark blanket. And I hope it's as soft as it looked online, but of course they like air sealed it. Okay, I got it out and it is definitely as soft as it looked, except like the stars are like, I don't know, even know if you can, if you're not be able to see it, but they're like this tighter knit kind of thing, which also like isn't terrible, but it is definitely different. It's so cute and soft. And apparently you're supposed to let it charge in the light. So the reason I chose that blanket with the stars on it is because like I have, I also have like the stars on my wall that glow in the dark, but like they just remind me so much of my childhood. Like they're so nostalgic because my mom used to buy them for us and we would like put them all over the ceiling in the bathroom and all over like the bathtub and stuff. And seeing like the glow in the dark star pattern really reminded me of that. Next, this has bells on it apparently, but <laughs> this is so cute. <laughs> I remember, I remember, look. It has a bell on it, and it's another one of these like bloomer style kind of outfits. This is so cute! Oh my gosh, I could cry. Like, it has like these little—they're like brown and tan spots, but they look like hedgehogs. <laughs> but this is this is so cute. This is definitely gonna fit me how I want it to, but. If you like have smaller shoulders, um, this might be a problem for you that you can't adjust the size of the sleeves. Like you can only make the sleeve bigger. Um, they have like this extension part so you can make them longer, but you can't make them any shorter than this. And I got it in 3X on the legs. It has these little bones. <laughs> uh, it's so freaking cute. I'm in agony. This is how like wide the thigh part is, which is nice because you can still get that scrunchy look even if you have big thighs like me. <laughs> I can see the bottom of the box now, so we're getting close to the end. But next is this, and it's Powerpuff Girls. I have a Powerpuff Girls like little bag on the wall that I bought, and I hung it up there because it was so cute that I didn't even want to use it. Um, so it's like as wall decoration, but I got this little buttercup one <laughs> and this is actually cotton like this is I'm pretty sure this is from Romwe exactly this is from Romwe they honestly if you can like I would recommend shopping from Romwe, Romwe for this kind of stuff um because they definitely have like the better fabric choice but this is so cute it's it's green it has like green sleeves and a green like neck um and it says buttercup and this is the little pattern and it matches so well with my little bottle with the stars on it, so cute. And I got this to wear like under some of the dresses that I bought. Next I have jeans. They also have smell. But I got these wide leg jeans. This is what they look like. And it's supposed to be wide leg. And this like little buckle right here. But these are very like toddler to me. So I picked them up to wear them when I'm feeling like spacey, like not quite regressed, but like a little bit small. Um, I can wear these and it'll make me feel good. Next is this. Uh, I think this is another onesie. I forgot about this. This is a full body onesie. I guess long sleeve. It's not footed, but I didn't want it footed because sometimes I like don't, just don't want anything on my feet. So I got this one, and these are what the buttons look like. They're not snap buttons, but they are still really cute. And the pattern is like little cats. <laughs> this is so cute. And I'm excited to try this on, but I wouldn't mind. Honestly, I wouldn't mind if it was tight, and I also wouldn't mind if it was loose. The size is 
four eggs. I got some ears, some more ears. This one, I can already tell there, I think. Yeah, the headband is plastic on this one and it has little combs in it. Oh, these, these bunny ears, look. They're so soft and the inside is pink, but they are so soft. Like, I don't know if you can see, so cute. The headband is plastic, like I said, and it's kind of, it's shorter, so it probably won't dig into like the back of my ears, maybe. But let's see. This is so cute. I love these. I like how they like cover up my human ears. And they feel really nice against my ears. Cause I really love like this plush furry fabric. So freaking cute. I'm gonna wear them. I'm gonna keep, I'm not taking them off ever again. Next, the next item is this little toy. And it's like a teether toy. Um, but it looked like, in the pictures, it looked like this material that's really nice to chew on. So this is what it looks like. And you, uh, listen. I don't know if you even know if you can hear it because my fan is on, but they all feel different when you, when you pull them through. I think this might be my favorite one. Ooh, that one's nice too. And this one. Ooh, I like that one. This is like such a good like stimmy toy. Sensory exploration, cause and effect, motor skills, and midline play. I don't know. I don't know if it's broken or it's supposed to be like this. Um, but. It has a button right here. So you got some clicking going on. And then it has like poppets on this side. Ooh, that's a good pop. This middle part is like squishy. And it says, this side of the flying saucer is equipped with soft buttons to encourage baby's little hands for touching and pressing. The raised position can stimulate baby's curiosity and exercise flexibility of little fingers. So this is good for your little fingers, your little baby. The other side is equipped with one button and three holes. Slightly press the button from this hole to another to meet baby's curiosity. I didn't know, look. This is why we need grown-ups people. You can like move the button. That's so nice. I love this. And it's a, like a good sized toy because a lot of like baby toys are smaller or like teethers like this one. They're like on the smaller side because obviously they're made for like baby size hands, but this one is nice. A nice size. I think they had like a pink and purple colored one, um, but I chose this one because I thought it was cuter. The last item is up here, and this is it's a water bottle that I thought looked very baby and like sippy cup baby bottle style. Immediately like it, love it. Look, <laughs> it's so cute. It's purple and it has this little kitty on it. With the little bubble face and this is how you open it i think uh, oh take this down first and then push the button to open it and look it has like a good size like spout to drink from on the inside the straw of course and all of this is like really soft came with a strap so you can carry it around with you. You can carry this around like even if you're not regressed. And it's just like a kawaii, kawaii little home. The air tastes bad. But this is a little like, it's just like cute 
a cutesy style water bottle that you can carry around if you're little or big and people shouldn't have anything to say but they shouldn't have anything to say anyway but especially with this because like it's not that crazy of a thing to have like it's not like you're walking around with a full-blown baby bottle and you can make it you can make it bigger if you want to so you can like literally wear it like this or I'll probably wear it like this so you can get a drink this, this is so cute oh my gosh.